I had a NDE when I was 11, almost 12, after having an almost fatal traffic accident. I was in a coma for nine days. During probably the first two minutes of being unconscious, I experienced the feeling of being outside of my body, floating above myself. I could see and hear the ambulance coming from the left side, the right side of my body. After that I went into a long dark tunnel where I could see a small light at the end, which constantly became closer and bigger and brighter. Where arms and hands came out of the wall, trying to grab me and pulling me back. I floated towards a very clear bright but not blinding light, but somehow never reached it totally. During that, I heard the most heavenly music played ever. I felt fear at first, but afterwards I felt so calm and happy, and felt no pain at all. Somehow, I received the message that I had to return, since this life was not fulfilled yet. At that moment, I floated back through the dark tunnel, hands pulling me again, back to where I was before. I then briefly woke up back in my body, which was now placed on a billiard table in a nearby pub. I cried aloud with pain and for help. I felt really sorry that I had returned, since I longed for that calm painless feeling I had had before in the tunnel. Then I was unconscious again for a while and only woke one more time on the operation table where doctors were bracing my knee so my broken femur could be corrected. I then went into a coma, but could always see people around me. I just couldn't react to their signals. After nine days I woke up and saw my parents, my dad was so happy that I had returned and said I could ask for anything as a welcome back gift. I asked him for a guitar, since I wanted to produce that heavenly music myself. I received a guitar, but never had the chance to learn how to play it, my competition sport always intervened. At a later age, I learned how to play the bass guitar and had my own band for 10 years, so the music always remained very important in my life. The evolution into my transformation is a story in itself. As is the pain, the loneliness, the inner sadness, the not being able to hold on to a steady relationship with someone who wasn't open to spiritual evolution. The feeling misunderstood, the change in beliefs and lack of any belief in any written religion. And, I do not fear death since that day. I only really got acknowledgement about my NDE myself when I was 13, after a school friend told me about what happened to him, which was almost similar to what I had experienced. Since then I have made a long evolution in my transformation and finally I know the reason why. Also due to reading the book of Dr. Pim van Lommel, a Dutch cardiologist who studied this phenomenon in a scientific way. Eindeloos Bewustzijn, in English Endless Consciousness. A classmate, of whom I still clearly remember the name, told us, the whole class, about the NDE he experienced when he was 13. He almost was suffocated during a judo match and was unconscious. He had a cardiac arrest and during that time, he experienced his NDE. Talking about his outer body experience, the tunnel, the not blinding light, and his return. He told this in front of the classroom and that was when I realized I had experienced the same when I had my traffic accident being 11, almost 12. Before that, I had always thought about this experience as if I had had a very clear dream. At first, I didn't really talk about this to anyone, not even my parents or friends. What might they have thought about me? I think I was about 19 when I told it to my mum for the first time. And then later to my sister, I don't feel they really understood at that time. They might understand better now I think, due to my new wife who has explained this more to them, being a very spiritual human being herself. Why did you decide to join this network? I have, since my youth, had quite a problem full, searching, and hectic life up to now. I have, most of the time, felt misunderstood. I have always been very social-hearted, always helped out others, but never myself. My self-esteem has been affected and I sometimes, in periods, turn to alcohol abuse to numb the pain and hurt. Due to the help of my current wife, my psychologist, my family and reading more about spiritual evolution. I have found the strength and power inside myself again to not have to numb myself anymore in any way. 
or form and finally I am able to talk freely about my experience. I would like to play music again, and I now also write poems and stories about my current life. And maybe about my lives before this one. So I can come out using my creative side, which I learned to know during my NDE.